The Doberman breed is known for its alert, proud, and stoic looks. Much of this is because of the iconic silhouette of the Doberman's head and ears. I have this as part of my logo here at Doberman Planet. And it's how Carl Frederick Lewis Doberman, the creator of the breed, had his first original Dobermans. Look, deciding to get your Doberman's ears cropped is a really big personal decision. And actually my wife and I are going through it right now because we're looking at getting another Doberman and we're trying to decide whether or not we're gonna crop the ears. So I decided to take a few minutes to make this video for you. We're gonna go over the procedure, the ear cropping procedure itself. So let's get started. One side note guys, I almost forgot. In America, ear cropping is so incredibly common for Dobermans that a lot of times you don't even have the option. As soon as you get your dog straight from the breeder, the ears may already be cropped. That actually happens quite consistently in the US. I know it's different in other countries, but if you absolutely want a dog with uh, uncropped ears, make sure you get a hold of a breeder and let them know when the dog is still really young so they don't crop the ears. Um, many times breeders will just automatically crop all their dog's ears even before they go to their new home. First, we need to talk about the legalities of this real fast. I'm gonna throw up this map here on the screen to kind of give you an idea of where it's legal and where it's not. In the United States, Mexico, Canada, um, this handful of countries in South America, Africa, India, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, Japan, it's legal in those countries to get your dog's ear cropped. Um, it's also uh, kind of heavily restricted in, in UK and a couple other countries in Europe. Um, it is illegal in most of Europe, uh, as well as Australia and a few other countries uh, to get your dog's ear cropped, really for any reason. Uh, now, there's varying degrees of legalities as to whether or not this is legal where you live, so make sure you check on it, because sometimes um, it's legal only if it's done by a qualified vet for a specific purpose or for a medical purpose, and other times it's always illegal. Um, there's all these different um, varying shades of gray. It's not just black or white, so make sure you look up your specific country to find out whether or not cropping the dog's ears is legal where you live. Now let's talk about the ear cropping procedure itself. The ear cropping procedure, at least in the United States, usually costs between around $300 to $800, depending where you go. Um, make sure you pick a reputable vet who has done this before, who has references, and a lot of times will have photos of dogs that they've done in the past, and make sure they're experienced at doing this on Doberman specifically, because ear cropping on a boxer, for example, or a pit bull or other dogs is different than ear cropping a Doberman. So make sure you find an experienced vet. Um, your vet will look at the cartilage of your dog's ear and to see if the cartilage has hardened yet. Um, so the deal is when the dog is young, the ear cartilage is still soft and kind of pliable and hasn't really gotten firm. As the dog ages, usually about 12 weeks of age and then on up, the ear cartilage hardens and wherever the ears are at that point is usually where they tend to stay. So the ear cropping procedure is done between seven to nine weeks of age and the and up to about 12 weeks is about the maximum. But to make sure um, if your dog is eligible to get the ears cropped, make sure you take them to the vet and actually have an inspection done of the ears so that they can tell if the cartilage is hardened or not. Um, once you decide to get your dog's ears cropped and you pick a vet to do it, um, you'll go in and uh, you'll choose a ear cropping style. Now there's generally, there's a whole bunch of different styles, but to, to overgeneralize it, there's three main types. There's a short military crop, which is a real short ears. There's the longer, uh, the medium crop, they call it. And then the longest crop is the, the show crop, which is what a lot of show Dobermans will get in the United States, uh, like confirmation show dogs. Then once you've picked your style and it's the day of the procedure, you'll go in and uh, the dog will be put under general anesthesia. So it'll be completely knocked out. Um, and the procedure itself only takes about 30 minutes. Um, when you take the dog home, the dog will either be on some pain meds or maybe have a pain patch on him. Um, my last dog, he had a pain patch on him when he came home. Generally, the procedure itself is a really easy, quick procedure. Uh, no pain is felt, no discomfort. Um, and then when you come home, um, the ears will be all wrapped up in tape. And uh, after about a week, the vet will uh, unwrap the dog's ears and remove the stitches, check for infection and, and just do an overall visual check, see how the ear crop went. 
Um, and then after that point, uh, it is up to the owner to post the ears into position and wrap it every so often to make sure that the cartilage hardens into the traditional um, look of the Doberman with the upright ears. Now it's usually done, this process is usually done with either a, a hard foam um, rod or a, um, a, lot of, a lot of times now people are using a tampon uh, applicator that's wrapped up in tape. Any kind of small like tube that's soft and has rounded corners um, that's not gonna hurt the dog um, is possibly something you could use. But um, talk to your vet about it, make sure you get something that works. But um, you use some sort of support like that to, to keep the ears upright. You curl the ears around the, the uh, tube and you tape it up. Now, that's just a very crude description. Uh, don't try this without um, talking to your vet first. And, and maybe I'll do an instructional video down the road of exactly how the taping process works because there's a lot involved in that. But basically the ears are taped upright into position that you want them and uh, usually leave them taped for a couple days. Then you remove the, the tape, let the ears uh, air out, clean the ears a little bit, and then retape it back into the position for another couple days. And you repeat that and you got to do it for anywhere between four to eight months is normal um, until the ears start to stand on their own. And then you can stop the process. Um, th the longer the cropping of the ears, the longer you're going to have to continue with the wrapping because um, it's going to take longer for the ears to stand. So a show crop is going to take the longest and the military, the shortest crop uh, is going to take the least amount of time. Just a few quick comments about pain and discomfort that I experienced when I got my first dog's ears cropped, Cooper. Um, I know some of you will probably be wondering about that. On the day of the procedure, I didn't really notice any pain or discomfort for Cooper at all. I brought him home, he was uh, fine. I mean, he was a little out of it because he was on that, um, he was under general anesthesia for the procedure, but he had a pain patch on him when he came home. It was a slow release pain medicine. Um, he seemed totally fine, no pain or discomfort that I could tell um, at that point. Um, and then the only real part of the whole process that seemed to be any kind of discomfort for him, well, there's two parts. One was just the annoyance factor, I think, of the four to, I think he was about six months or seven months. He was a longer, on the longer side um, of getting his ears wrapped. So for that six, seven months, he had to have his ears wrapped and he was a puppy. He wanted to roll around and stuff and he couldn't really roll over his head very well with the ears um, posted in the upright position. So I think that was kind of an annoyance factor for him, but he never yelped or anything. Like he, he was he never looked like it was discomfort. He wasn't scratching at it or anything or crying, nothing like that. Um, the only other time worth noting was when they actually first removed the stitches that day, I insisted on being in the room while he's getting his stitches removed. Um, when they first unwrapped the ears, cause I'm very, uh, protective of my dog. So I want to be in there to be with him. And there did seem to be some discomfort, um, or even some pain when they were taking out the stitches and that cause the tape was kind of close to where they had cropped a little bit. So I think that one day when they removed the stitches was a little bit of discomfort. And then other than that, it was just annoyance factor after that. That is what I observed. Um, but of course our dogs, it's always hard to tell cause they're pretty stoic. One side note guys, and I hate to even have to mention this, but I'm going to, you should always use a reputable vet one that does full anesthesia and has a good track record of taking good care of their dogs and making sure they have minimal discomfort and minimal pain during the process. If you want to see some more of my videos, just scroll on up to the top of this page in the YouTube search bar type Doberman Planet and take a look at all the videos I've done about this amazing, unique breed of dog. Spend a little time, maybe even binge watch for an afternoon, and I promise you're going to learn a ton about this breed and you might even have a little bit of fun along the way. Thank you guys so much. Hit that subscribe button down below and the like button, the thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.